Off that uh, blueberry kush. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> the wind was blowing through there, and no matter what I did, the plant was gonna wiggle. <laughs> and I tried getting it that high up there. A tripod ain't gonna help. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. It was fun though. I stood around there and took pictures. Cheers, everybody. We are Father and Sons trimming tutorials. Good evening, uh, everybody. One and all. We have straight internet. Let me shut my yeah. internet off here. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta remember to shut the Wi-Fi off because I have connected straight to the Ethernet. <clears throat> I got a couple pictures and stuff from Cameo the other day. She looks good. At least she's not hobbling around on her ankle like she was. Getting better. We got a newbie at the at the. Dutch Brothers. I think it would be the Dutch Brothers. Yeah. So it's hot. Go, go, go. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. And I'm been piecing on the mother of all cherry. Nice. Yeah. Richard Hernandez. Good evening, kind sir. Mm. Oh, shit. I'm not even wearing my shirt, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Just a minute. I'll get changed. Not even. <laughs> Excuse me while Ooh. I was... exit stage left. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Well, two people anyway. For starters. Richard, are you growing anything? Are you, uh, did you start a new cycle after that wonderful harvest? <laughs> yeah, that, 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 cool. A few better. <clears throat> This year is Brother Deer and Crystal's 13th anniversary. Nice. Anyway, I've been, yeah, I've been working on a little project for him for, for his birthday. And then I, I forget all about the anniversary thing there for a bit. <laughs> Glenn. Happy Friday. Cheers to you, my friend. Good evening. Okay, you got four plants. Nice. What strains you got going? Believe me, four plants is enough. I actually need nine plants is enough in the garden this year. Me and George Bull. Nice. So tomorrow we're putting up some more supports. So right here. We had trouble with the little pots, whatever little containers like that. Let's show you what we got. So here we have some heavenly perp crossed with gelato. Cool. Um, these two rows are Jaeger. So we've got some Jaeger. And these three rows are gnome candy. Very good. So They've always there. been a little slow coming up. They're taking yeah. a little longer, but they are. Yeah. And you should see that beast. Oh, my goodness. None of the chronified. Ah, there's my wife. Hey. <laughs> I got a surprise for you. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> I do. Got to wait till you get here, though. <laughs> Ladies, the Fuck Up Radio Show. Cheers, my friend. Happy Friday. <laughs> Richard, you have Purple Frost Giants after this run. I'm going to... You're going to what? Hawaii. Not on vacation. Oh. You can't go on vacation. Oh, you're going to run the Platinum Dosi after. Nice. <laughs> Platinum Dosi. Good. 
So I had turned it down a little bit. That one might have swung in. Yeah. Be a little quieter, too. Maybe they can hear it. I only had two platinum dosi that sprouted out of all of those over there. And the one seed from Double M Despo, the DM Muffin, crossed with our gnome candy. That one sprouted. So cool. I'm pretty stoked about that one. Yeah. Awesome. <clears throat> we'll never be a cog in the system. Hey, Paul. Hey, no kidding. Hey, yeah. Uh, shoot me your, or your phone number or something if you would, please. Uh, I'm going to be over in Klamath visiting a friend of mine um, either tomorrow or Sunday. So, yeah, yeah, shoot me a phone number. I'll uh, see if I can come by and visit, if you don't mind. Uh, I yeah. don't think there's any way for us to get a hold of you other than, like, commenting on, like, one well, of yeah, your sure. comments on our videos. Yeah. <clears throat> hey. Well, maybe we can get lucky anyway. Friendly volunteer, yeah. Should do these. Friendly volunteers, man, they were, they were good. It was the uh, friendly volunteers. These were all off of that uh, that the uh, um, 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 uh, what was it the the military the strength of the military uh, G13 the, that we got from from uh, uh, Jerry John Gary. Shit, that was a while ago. Gary, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a while. And these ago. were just that one plant that came up. The friendly volunteer just came up all by itself. Crazy. So that's why we call it the friendly volunteer. <laughs> No. But yeah. We'll never be a cog in the system. If you can, figure a way to see if you can give me your phone number or something. Let me see. Can we get him mine? Not on here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Not on here. Yeah, I'd like to just stop in and something like that. See how you're doing. How you like the High Plains Desert? I used to live it over there. I mean, uh, the basin and everything out towards dairy and stuff like that. And then uh, by Lake View, where Sister Trim is at, and, and out in the flats out there where the hot springs are. Oh, yeah. That was fun. Oops. Roll one of these up. Get a time here. Yeah, it like I thought it. I gave you all the bags. This is one at the bottom of the box. Nice. Uh, we yeah, we did do so. We did press some of that mother. Yes, yeah, we did. Hill. Yeah, we did. We and we did. actually did blasted some of the the root of Alice, and boy, that was really good. <laughs> I was amazed. You know, go home, pie eyed from root of Alice. It was ah, it's just road weed. <laughs> right. Yeah, Joe and Mackenzie got to go up and visit Clay and Crystal this last week. Mackenzie didn't want to come home. <laughs> and Joe fell asleep in the same chair that Lane did. <laughs> Clay thinks it's contagious. Just one that you know, just sit in and <laughs> melt. Yeah. Melt. Uh, melt. Purple frost hands after. Let's see. And I'm going to. Peace. I should turn you're going to. And platinum dosi after. Oh, good. Yeah, we like to plant the platinum dosi. It doesn't put out really huge buds, you know, but I mean, the average buds, you know, that big around and, you know, anywhere from eight to you know, 10 inches, maybe. But the whole plant is that, you know, I mean, you got this round sucker type bush, you know, and it's got like 300 buds on it. <laughs> so, that and the stone is really good. It's nice, long stone. Yeah. You can overdo it if you're not careful hmm. or if you are. Yes. <laughs> Mummy Mountain Indica, your device is not connected. Account storage is closed. What's that? Okay. Oh, well. Just 
leave it on there. We'll work at it later. Right. Later. Yeah. Uh, Mummy Mountain Indica. I don't know what your issue is. <laughs> You're just going to have to upgrade a phone, I think. Right? <laughs> I need a new phone, bro. <laughs> That's okay. I got a new phone, and I wish it had night vision or something on there so we could either that or we ain't doing it right either on this phone to <laughs> film something at night or take night pictures <laughs> yeah i watched that that nighttime walkthrough that we did for casey this it's still up there and yeah <laughs> i forgot that's pretty good i'm so, glad she enjoyed it so one of our one of our older videos yeah, a couple years uh, old either yeah. two or three years old uh we i think it was labeled uh work work midnight walk work work. oh need work that needs done or something in the garden and i think youtube ended up taking that video down uh giving us a warning for what for that video uh because uh (laughs) i don't know whatever whatever is in the video they they didn't they haven't pointed it out they didn't seem they didn't think that it was appropriate appropriate or whatever but I, I re-watched the video and you know doing a review on it and it looks just fine to me it looks like it looks like all of our other videos i tried to appeal it and ex- explain it and i'd ask them to point say, it out say my comment and but I guess they weren't having it. Now they need to point out what it, what it is, so we know. You can't well, blame us if we don't know. I ain't gonna be so sorry for something I don't know. No, we're not. I'm not sorry. I know me neither. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Crystal, I am on part of this chemo. Knocked me on today, trying to get food in now. Very good. Uh, get a little bit of food in you. Yeah. Relax. Hopefully, you get some energy in you. Take just a couple flake size hits, you know. <laughs> man, I was I was really surprised when we got Jack doing that. And the old man next door, because over in Klamath years ago, because every every Sunday, I mean, he'd be out on his back porch just Ralph and his cookies, Ralph and his cookies, and, and it was because of the chemo. And, and I asked him if he ever, you know, cut the end off the rope and stuff when he was in the Navy, you know, for headaches. A lot of the guys did, you know, Grandpa did and everything, with, save going down to the, to the doctor. And uh, he says, well, yeah. I says, well, he says, getting stoned or something like that can also help, you know, with the nausea, keep the nausea down so you can get food in you and keep it down. He goes, really? And I said, yeah. He says, come over Sunday or something like that. We'll have dinner and get stoned and if you want to and a couple of hits and. After that, yeah, oh yeah, he was full on ready to come over on Sundays after that. Full on the stoner. <laughs> no, he could eat. I mean, sure, you do a couple hits, you know. But at the time, you know, I mean, this, this guy was like, Jack used to be like 6'2", you know, 185, 190 pounds. Damn. And because of what his condition and stuff, he was down to like 130 pounds, 125, and hunched over and, yeah. And after six months of getting stoned and having lunch with us and stuff on weekends and stuff, his sister couldn't figure out why, and he wouldn't say why he was back up. He was up to 160 pounds, and, and he was, you know, standing pretty erect, not straight up, but but yeah, he was doing a lot better. And but the main thing was keeping the food down. Yeah. So yeah, he was just jazzed about that. So Tom that, Ross. That's why we got the Chevy Lever and all the tools for a dollar. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Happy yeah. Friday, Tom Ross. Thanks for Good joining. Good evening, Tom. That's right. Don't talk outdoors, too. Indicate you have a lot of issues. No, it's just your phone. It's just your phone. <laughs> so go get a new phone. And keep the same number. Issues kind of like what we got with that channel, saying we did something we didn't know. Need, did a, new, need a new phone <laughs> so you can stream. <laughs> yeah, I watched that one where you streamed with the uh, uh, Dingle Fritz here the other day. <laughs> that was pretty good. Tom, it helps my stomach and neck pain. 
Yes. It does. It really does. Brother Deer was fully on into that too, because I mean with I mean he could have got some really some real badass meds and stuff. But they didn't do the right thing, you know, didn't help him where it needed and well, when he gets stoned to where he's really stoned and stuff and he he says it was like you know where his muscles and tendons connect to his skeleton he says it's like a bazillion fire ants just biting you all at once you know but getting stoned and stuff like that to where he's almost you know where he starts to zoom in really good he says he's free of that for an hour and a half or two hours mm -hmm. i did my job <laughs> yeah Tokes Outdoors. Yeah. He brought oh, a friend in there. Do it. Yeah. Nice. Who'd you bring? Let me see. Uh, Mommy video. Father, when will you stop using fertilizer in your outdoor? When? Yeah. Um, I try to predict or you know have a base guess on when I'm going to harvest or something, and then I'll kind of count backwards, you know, for nine like for nine days of <coughs> just plain water. Uh, and from the ninth day back, I, I uh, fertilize. So with the, and right now, like uh, today, I in fact I've given them their first shot of 55018, and I'll run that until the end of the cycle. But I give them the black guano, the lime, you know, the the bone meal, yeah, the worm castings, you know, uh, super thrive, the mycos, yeah, the, fish emulsion. So it right. works. Yeah. I get, and a lot of um, those are uh, the bone meal, the guana, um, <clears throat> um, uh, let's see, and the mycos and the super thrive and stuff. I only give it, put it in about once every 10 or 12 days when I notice that the, the, they've, the, they've uh, disappeared, you know, soaked in from the surface of the dirt, so, which is about 10 or 12 days. So, um, the nice. 55018 I use daily when I water, other than the day, a couple, one or two days of the week that I use just plain water. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's really I've done that all year this year, man. Cool. Like today, I didn't water and just yeah, just let them be. Yeah, and, and like I said, I'll do that all week, and then I'll let them go for two, <laughs> maybe three days, depending on the heat and stuff. And yeah. with the beds like they are, I mean, they're still moisture down deep, so I don't have to worry about them being stressed or anything. So. But they do dry out, and it's a good thing. So, <laughs> you think they're, you think they're shy to say hi in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> they ain't no shyness around here. Speak up. <laughs> I if I cop was rolling up some sprees. Nice. <clears throat> David Payne, what's going on? Tom, Tom Roth is smoking Blue Dream. David. Cool. I, you know, we've had had it and tried it, but I've, I've never smoked any of it. I don't. I mean, tried to grow it. We found it kind of finicky, didn't we? The, the blue dream. We did. We didn't do very good with it. Of course, we were trying to help it along with our own brand of that was kind of fertilizing. So, but no, that <clears throat> even Thomas says that's kind of that's kind of a finicky strain. So, don't give it very much. Just a little taste of your fertilizer. Yeah. Yeah, and you do put a lot better, so maybe we'll have to try that next time. David, you never flush your organic plants. <clears throat> yeah, you never do. I always I always flush whether you know, no matter what I use. But most often, I mean with the jacks I've never had to worry about, you know, you know, being any any toxics, you know, chemicals or anything in there. With the <laughs> With the, what is it, the Miracle Grow and stuff? Yeah, yeah, you definitely flush. Yeah, it. good for garden, but not for <laughs> not for you know, medical garden. Not for smoking. That does have heavy elements in it. <laughs> more, <laughs> more for vegetable. Yeah, vegetable garden. Yeah. But all the, the amendments and stuff, the bone meal and all that, uh, I won't add those to the the ground or the plants. Uh, like I said, count back ten days. And if it's anywhere within 10 days of that flush period, then I won't add. I'll just leave it, and I'll just absorb what's left or something like <laughs> that in the soil. So, thing is, just don't use it a, a whole lot of it. I mean, some people really, you know, <laughs> pour the stuff on, on, on in the bed and stuff. 
and I do better, you know, like just maybe half a cup or something like that and run a couple of rings around your, your plant, you know, this big around and then just use your garden weasel and tool it in and then water them real good. Heck yeah. So. Yeah. <clears throat> I should have videoed what that. Do you mean today, no miracle? What do you mean? I did the whole shebang <laughs> and everything. What do you mean no miracle grow? <laughs> <laughs> good for flowers, good for tomatoes. The old school blue dream. Uh I think Blue Dream, uh, Was that around when like Acapulco Gold was around? No, not that long ago. I don't think so. Uh, I think Acapulco Gold's more old school. Yeah, old. that's from the <coughs> 60s and 70s. So we had the Acapulco Gold and the, yeah, the uh, Panama Red. And, yeah. So we had two Platinum Doses sprout. And they're doing good. Our seed from uh, Double M Despo uh, that he got some of our gnome candy. Crossed it with his strain, the DM muffin, and he ended up he ended up sending a seed back to us so we can. This is a place to be in, in the Friday night. That's right. That's <laughs> my toast. <laughs> Very good toast. Nice to have you on the show there. <laughs> Glock Hopper eighteen. Glock Hopper eighteen. Okay. <laughs> What's going on, my friend? Very good. And so these, obviously these. Three rows right here. These are all these are all known candy. Still working on sprouting. I've been looking on the, the cherry candy uh, plant to see if there's anything looks like seed, but nothing yet. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm gonna keep hoping anyway. And then these two rows are Jaeger. I love Jaeger, so we gotta get some Jaeger going. <clears throat> Want to try something else in it? I mean, I mean that seems to be a good one that's with receptive the, to, you know, like it like did really coffee. well with the coffee, yeah. And we'll see. I mean, we did all that with that U band for <clears throat> brother Jerry. We call it Ubenager. <laughs> In fact, I think I still have some of that somewhere. And the knees. Yeah, this is our. It turned out good. This was our heavenly perp, crossed with gelato. This was. From Sticky Buds from last year. Oh, you switched to uh, liquid bone meal this year, huh? He, How's he, it working? He crossed our Heavenly Perp with his gelato and ended up sending some seeds back. So thank you, Sticky Buds. And I think uh, so far only two and a half, yeah. two and a half sprouted. I'm using, I'm using uh, I had a container of some fish bone meal. And that's pretty much what I'm using this year instead of instead of like you know deer bone meal. Uh, I don't know how it's turned out. I, I really don't. But the, the properties are the same, real close. But we'll see if the fish compared to you know venison or something like that affects the outcome of the plant. You know the taste or whatever. Yeah, I've been doing that with it. It's pretty good. I'm really excited to see what this will do. It's got a lot of, it's got a lot of color in it already. What was that one? The DM muffin crust with gnome candy. Oh, cool! It's got a lot of purple in it already. Well, I tell you, it's harder to get to see the guts than locusts in the gnome candy plants. I mean, because yeah, yeah, the, all the stems are on the leaves are starting to get that little red strip. And that's kind of like what the, is on the side of the. Not to mention the locusts. And they're a, the color of milk candy is green. Bastard. <laughs> there you go, I guess. Not to mention, yeah, the. Well, man, the plants, I found four. Uh, plants are freaking huge, so <laughs> you can't you can't really see anything other than from the top of a ladder. Yeah, Pockets and I were gonna get. Uh, we figured out we're gonna put the, on the on the big one. We're gonna put like just two pieces of hog wire, you know, into the top of the buds and lift them up a little bit and then we'll wire them to the top of the you know the up by the cable yeah and down below we'll, we'll put a couple you know props out here to keep them out you know away just so that'll take care of all of those 
and then uh, that one that's in that had the hole in it that had the limbs falling you know coming down the nose mm -hmm. uh i had a, out behind the the sh shop i had a, a piece of uh the cattle panel and it was kind of well, it's about this wide and it's about six foot long but it goes and it just barely goes down but there's there's a like a hole this big in it right in the middle yeah of and we'll be able to <clears throat> not be able to set that up over the the cola and put it down and then wire that from the ceiling and then all those ones that are down we have all that all those holes around the edges to, to lift the buds up and or the limbs up and put them in, in supports yeah that'll be all day job i think Looney Productions, yeah. cheers, my friend. Aloha, weed growers. That's right, from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Miracle Grow is only for germinating seeds and rooting clones. <laughs> None once you plant them. Glenn, you don't use bone meal. <laughs> Just buried my ex in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I thought of and, that. And, <laughs> And he, he used lime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dolomite. Yeah, quick lime works really good. <laughs> Block hopper eighteen. Looking for a fire purple exotic color strain with killer bag appeal, especially in an auto. Especially in an auto. auto I don't know. <clears throat> I was gonna say, you know, the the blueberry kush we got. You know, because it's it's real pretty, and, but yeah, it's not yeah, novel. You did take. A bunch oh yeah, of I got a lot of pictures right. of it today. So, so father, really close -ups. father took a bunch of close close up pictures of, and yes, I did. of the school marm, uh, blueberry kush, and so we're gonna make we're gonna make a video montage of that because it is absolutely beautiful. It has got so much color. <laughs> That's just nuts that's just yeah that's real real close up <clears throat> the hair's got hairs on them the hairs got hairs. yes they are oh well that is a close-up beautiful yeah, trying to get the, the trichomes and stuff in it and, but yeah those the color in it's real pretty yeah yeah <laughs> Some there's a bunch of them. In there. Some I nice didn't. looking trichomes on the blueberry kush. There's one leaf that, that's got Already. that's got trichomes all down one the bottom side of it. Man, it looks it looks just like a green surfboard. I ain't kidding you, surfing on trichomes. Damn. <clears throat> hey, you can <laughs> see that from clear back here. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. The whole plant is really, and and the the bigger plant, the other nice. blueberry kush right next to it is. Starting to color, starting to come on really good too. So. Anyway, I'm not going to show you guys all the pictures yet. You'll see it in the damn video. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wait. <laughs> <clears throat> well, those things look like snowballs. David Payne uses Roundup <laughs> around his around his garden. <laughs> gotta remember it's a weed. There's always something in a pesticide or weed pesticide that'll help a pot plant. Oh, that's why he's spraying it. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. So somebody was asking uh, the other day, I believe, why we don't have a bunch of trichomes already on our plant. Well, we do. You just can't. Uh, it's just really fine. You just can't see it yet. Yeah. Um, I mean, the it's there. Very cush, and even our gnome candy, the, the trichomes are really <clears throat> pretty small. But they're a lot finer than some of the, like the Acapulco Gold or something like that that has really big trichomes. Yeah. So. Yeah, the Blueberry Kush, man. It's going to be, like, I'm excited for that one this year. Yeah. Got a picture of bugs, too. <clears throat> aphids. Uh, some aphids starting. Yeah. Being, with, from, being with the fires and that, everything. It's got to be from out in the woods. What's that white thing? That's a big old aphid. No, no, no. Oh, that no. thing. What is that? I've never seen that. What is that? <clears throat> you know, I can just, I just think that maybe it come my way, our way because of the fire. Trippy shit, though. It almost looks it? like a baby transparent grasshopper. See you it. see that? It's really tiny, though. Man, I was using the macro lens on that. 
this one right here. Yeah. Looks like a baby transparent grasshopper. I bet. <clears throat> that's with, a with the fire. That's here. really, really small though. Yeah. Because you got the macro lens on. Yeah, I do. And that that's about the size, maybe a little smaller than the aphids. Like looking at it, it looks like a grasshopper almost. <laughs> I thought it looked like a horny toad. <laughs> also looks like a parrot. Yeah. So it could be a parrot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's definitely a parrot. <laughs> Watching over your plant. Yeah. Here's a picture of the, plant, of the top of the plant there. <clears throat> Ew, it is fire. That's why I'm so excited. So we got the regular. We got the regular. Uh, it's like purple. Look tentacles. Like, look like a rat tail file. I ain't kidding. You. Purple tentacles. Yeah. Anyway, y'all are gonna have to wait to see the video. Uh, <laughs> tease. I know. I know. I'm a tease. <laughs> don't you don't. <laughs> yeah. Glenn. Yeah. Baby Space man. man. Blaze. Folk up radio show thinks baby mantis maybe, and you know we we were thinking of that okay. a, a baby mantis. Um, I don't know what they look like. I mean, we, we see the pods that fall out of the trees around yeah, sometimes. But. We seen that that one bug the other last week. Yeah, that white thing. But I, can't I don't think that's one. Of them. I don't think that was one either. That was more like a I don't know, similar to like a flying flying ants almost <clears throat> wow hey at least we got trichomes to watch <laughs> when i told you it looks like a surfboard that's cool yeah. sticky so on the sticky board yeah. sticky board yeah i took a lot of them today of course i got rid of quite a few of them too <laughs> glenn crab lice <laughs> okay come on <laughs> <laughs> Pretty uh, one, How are your plants yeah, yeah. doing, Glenn? <clears throat> they're doing real good. I hope so. Every farmer deserves to see what they got, you know, coming out of the garden. So, come on, it did something. Sometimes I like to find this thing and skip it. Yeah, there you go. That's the picture. How did I get the color? Just hold it still. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Eyes, nose, and whiskers. Blueberry Kush is gonna be fire. Yeah. Yeah, it's real pretty and real crystal and yeah. I had to clean my glasses several times. And... Yeah. yeah. Trichomes going halfway out the leaves. Baby mantis look just like an adult. Yeah, well, this is well, no, nah, no, nah, it didn't. Uh -uh. Like, like honestly, that looks it looks more like the shape and everything, and the legs look yeah. more like a grasshopper. Yeah, they do. So, it didn't have. I'm it didn't have, towards. It didn't have the hands <clears throat> in front or something like that. I didn't think could be still developing if it's kind of uh, transparent. Yeah. It, it could have been a fresh, fresh hatch. <clears throat> Brother dear. And wifey. Oh, oh Joe and, and Mackenzie. <laughs> hey, you're famous now, dudes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they had a blast from there up there. <clears throat> Family went to go visit yep. our Alaskan branch up there. Mm -hmm. had, had a good old time. Yeah. Glenn, you're not growing now. Take a couple of weeks off. So you could be starting seeds and taking a couple of weeks off. <laughs> now only a week. <clears throat> only a week. Only. They'll need help after that. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> these are going to be starting shortly after they get pretty big. But we have a uh, we have a plant here, a culprit that we're going to uh, snap. Yeah. We're going to show how it's to, one of our extras and stuff. So we're going to show how <coughs> to uh, snap or repair uh, a broken limb, or show how to how to fix. Yeah, a one snap maybe that come out of the or, socket or something, or so. a broken limb, 
Like, we could probably do it. <laughs> yeah, anytime. <clears throat> we could do one on one thing and one on another. And, I mean, break one limb and pull the other one out of the socket. <laughs> yeah, torture that mother. But yeah, we can show them how. I did bring up. <clears throat> Where is it? Here. Uh, oh, here. Okay. I think I might have to go get the graphite. Well, in case we need it, I brought a piece of paper towel roll to you know, wrap around the limb. And we need to. Yeah, it was real nice in the garden today. I was really surprised. I mean, it was 80, 85. Good breeze blowing. Yeah. I'm going to grab the graphite card. Okay. And somebody said he didn't like the using the grafting tar and stuff, but I don't know. I have over, you know, what, 40 years of doing this and stuff. I, I've never had a plant absorb or, or have the grafting tar or graphite, anything like that, get in the, in the buds where it will affect your, you can taste it or whatever in the buds. So, but that's the reason they said they didn't use it. And of course, you can use all kinds of stuff, you know, honey, or you can just mi mix up a little, you know, a little handful of mud works, you know, works good. Just anything to, to if you, the top of your plant is hollow and, you know, you want to cap that off as quick as you can because, you know, the, the air and get whatever inside is, is it vital to the plant. So okay, there we go. If you don't do it, I mean, it'll end up. You, you cut it here and it'll end up killing off this much of the plant before it stops. Yeah. yeah. I even brought instructions on box kite. <laughs> Building a kite. Yeah. Yes. Let's see. It's actually pretty simple. Man, you should have seen him flying that one big as that guy's pickup. Man. So, latest to fuck up radio show is uh, in uh, Michigan. Oh, okay. That's Michigan area. Cool. And uh, he is growing our no candy. Oh, cool. As well. I hope you enjoy it. I would, it'd, be, it'd be cool for you to show, but I know your lights are off. Okay, no My lights are on during the during the night. Yeah, less draw. I mean, less usage on it <clears throat> when you got your room on at night. I do the same thing. Not only that, but if it's cold and in the winter time, that's the cold part, and it's a good time to have your lights on good too. Good time to help heat your heat your room. Yeah. All right. All right. So. I guess which one do you want to do? I don't know. Do the top one. All right, so let's see. Nicholas Edmonds, what are you guys germinating? Missed some of the live of the live last time. Oh, so you're gonna have to go back and rewatch. <laughs> so in this one, uh, Jeremy Ringlet. Hey, fans. Hey, good evening. So I missed you the last few weeks. Hope all is well. Hope you were well. So let's just say you're walking. Let's just say you're walking in your garden. Not paying attention, and you swing swing your arm, and you bump a branch, and it, oh, shit. and it snaps. Oh, shit. Man, what am I going to do? <laughs> and I really wish I could save this. <laughs> Every time I do this, I keep thinking, man, I should have recorded that one going over to help Amy with that one time. Man, that was horrid. It actually worked. Yeah. <laughs> so that was, pretty, gonna... that was a pretty good snap. Yeah. Almost almost clean almost, through. Yeah. So, but so not what, quite. What so. we're going to do, we're going to stand it up. That's right. Gonna... Stand it up carefully. Okay. Make sure it's all intact. You got your grafting tar stuff. 
Do you think you can wrap, you know, some like, uh, you know, a little bit of cotton or something around it, or maybe even a, a Christmas ribbon or something that works really good too. Just, just one or two layers around it. That, and then before you put the grafting tar on, that'll help make kind of a cast like thing and it'll make it stronger. But yeah, you do that pretty good on there. So we're just going to give this a good coat all yeah. the, all the way around. And then here's this. You can probably cut that in half or something like that here. Because you're going to wrap and roll it around. Okay. Let's see this <clears throat> Got a couple of twisties. Because uh, it's just going to go around the stem. Yeah. But you want something to hold that as tight as you roll it. Mm, let's see. Let's see. I do have a twist tie. We'll leave the leaf here because, I mean, it'll, it'll actually kind of hold that, that piece of cardboard up where this break is up here <clears throat> instead of sliding down sometimes. So, yeah. so I'm going to pre roll this. And this will be kind of like a splint. Yeah. The cast to stick, you know, stiffen it up. And, yeah. Just, you know, just real it. loose around. Doesn't have to be too tight. Just, yeah, there you go. And then if you got a twisty wrap around just to hold it, there you go. Yeah. Maybe wrap it around there a time or two. Well, that's it alone. Yeah, you can do that. You know, you always get that shit on your fingers. Just, I mean, no matter always. what you do. I did the other day, remember, and I didn't even, you know, know you'd done anything with it out in the garden. There you go. All right. Okay. Okay. Kind of. And normally we would, uh, we would, normally we would throw in another stake. Yeah. <clears throat> Come up here. You stake know. or like and an arrow shaft. The top, yeah. We would put another stake in right here and help support this branch right up here. Yeah. And then that way, while this heals, it's supported up here. Yeah. Yeah, did, did anybody experience like a, your your limb becoming so heavy that it just pulls out of the socket of the stock? I have quite a bit. <laughs> Sometimes you come out and you see a limb laying on the ground, and it looks like a the tail fan of a peacock or something laying on the ground because it's so broad and everything. Half a pound of blood laying on the ground there. I, yeah, from one limb falling. But yeah, if you can, the trick to it is, is when you when this pulls out of the socket, if it doesn't come co completely off, you get, tip it back up and make sure that right along the, the seam here, where it meets the stock, where it make sure that's closed and tight. You can tie it around this way here, like that. There's one. Yeah. Yeah, that one in the corner. Mm -hmm. See that is this one. Yeah, that'll do. Just tape it around. Yeah, be good there. But yeah, you, when you prop this, tie this thing up, to, uh, uh, you know, support or something here, then this here will go ahead and it, it'll turn and heal itself, but it'll get to be a great big knuckle there where it, you know, where it was hurt. So, and it will here too a bit. But right here on the stock and stuff, yeah, it really gets to be a big knuckle. But yeah, you could save a whole, you know, a whole fan of, you know, of a limb with all these flowers on it and stuff like that by just if it's not torn clear off just i mean if it's even i've had them even if it's like a quarter only a quarter of it left <clears throat> you know not pulled out then it will find a way to rejuvenate and keep going let's see yeah yeah this needs to be pretty loose not real tight yeah. Yeah, and if, you know, 10, 12 days or so, yeah, you'll be able to yep. tell. I mean, if this really yeah. wilts and everything, then we didn't do a very good job. But if it stays kind of like it is and, you know, alert and growing, yeah, then we did good enough that it'll repair itself. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so there's there's a few other ways yeah. out in the garden. Um, the plant I, <clears throat> I repaired for Amy... Uh, 
when she called, it was like a day after we had like some 70 or 80 mile an hour winds pass through here. And they were, they were whipping. But the wind at her place had taken her plant and gone like this, you know, and, and spun it. And down here, along, you know, for about eight or 10 inches down the, the bottom of the stock, about this high off the ground, it split like five or six times all the way around the stock this way, but it didn't break. I mean, but it was twisted and laying on the ground. So I told her, I said, well, hang on, hang on. Well, we put like three, three supports up, you know, just to get it stood up with a wire, uh, a string around it to hold it. And uh, I took some cotton uh, string and just wrapped it kind of easier to hold the stock together. And then I just really, I mean, the grafting jar, I coated the whole, stock with it really really stock, good yeah 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 with splits and, like that yeah yeah well then we made sure that the plant was you know the stock where it stood you know was easy on the stock it wasn't twisted or going to come apart anywhere so yeah mm -hmm. supported it all around the middle and then again at the top yeah it went ahead and grew and did just fine but yeah i was just totally amazed at it. like four or five cracks that were like six or seven inches long up and down the stock Jeez. yeah it really blew me away that's how hardy these things are so you can kill them real easy or you can do all kinds of stuff with them sometimes just play around with them yeah. practice that's right <clears throat> have a couple extra you can experiment that's right Speaking of the experiment, I tried the juicy fruit gum thing for the moles. And I had three different mole holes done with, with you know, dug out and cleaned out real good. And put some of the, one of the sticks of juicy fruit right down there in the hole. I kidding you, not, not five minutes after I did it, each one of them things kicked that, kicked the juicy fruit out. It blew me away. I mean, Five minutes and you know, went back in, just walking by. I didn't think they'd do anything for you know an hour or two. But yeah, five minutes and they each one, and they did it like four or five times because I kept doing it, and they kick it out, scoot back in the hole. Yeah, juicy fruit gummy. So I don't think juicy fruit works. I'm gonna just gonna see about hooking up a, 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 a tube to the exhaust pipe or something <laughs> to start maybe, a car. Maybe they're not uh, juicy fruit. You know, fans. Maybe they're more like <laughs> spearmint or something. Oh, well, that's possible. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, George and I were out there sitting there laughing. You know, about Clay used old Christmas ribbon and wrap to support brakes. Yeah, and seal it with a grafting grafting tar. Grafting tar acts like a drone a drawing. You know, drawing sab, yeah. Sab, yeah. It does. <clears throat> Yes, kind of like putting tobacco or juice and stuff on a snake bite or something like that. Or Thank you. So anyway, that is how we repair a break, a break, a snap. <laughs> See, well, you, you sure can tell it's got sunburn. I mean, this is <laughs> yeah. I do like a. Well, it's just out in the sun where it wasn't a while ago. A couple of the extras, I just kept them in the greenhouse and, or in, indoors because that's where they were doing just fine. So, so we needed them. No. So we will, uh, we can keep that one here. Uh, we can keep an eye on it. Yeah. And see how it's doing. Yeah, it goes by next week. Yeah, I remember the last the last video we did of that uh, in your indoor. Oh, that's right. We I just did the whole stock, I, didn't we? I don't remember what strain it was, but yeah, we did. We snapped the whole plant. Actually, I was kind of surprised it snapped like it did. <laughs> it actually ended up being the strongest plant. Yeah. Out of all of them. But yeah, do you see that big knot that was? Like, that yeah. was it was. That was a big old knuckle. Yeah, that was a big one. At least we knew we did a good job. So. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> they are fascinating. Yeah, and you, Nicholas, you obviously do a lot of uh, a lot of the more tedious technical areas and stuff. Stuff like yeah. that with 
with germinating and crossing and yeah. um, all of that stuff. <clears throat> cool. Dang, I got up too early this morning. <laughs> I was up over there by, you know, six o'clock. This guy's, I mean, it's starting to get light, but it's not, the sun's not quite up yet. Yeah. But it has been you know, all summer. Six, yeah. yeah. yeah it's now it's than... dark at 7.30 or something like that around here. Getting dark, yeah. Uh, yeah dark operation. Right. If it snaps completely off, can anything be done? Um, yeah, you could just, if as long as, you know, if it snaps completely off and, and you know, the, the juices of the plant are still there pretty much, if you just be careful and, and try to put it back where it should be, you know, like a broken bone or something like that, yeah, you can. It's, and when you do that, just like I said, uh, use Christmas ribbon or anything like that, you know, to protect it, um, help support it, the grafting tar to uh, help hold it. I mean, and, and make the brakes air, seal it. Yeah. yeah, this this is a it's a pruning sealer. It's yeah. basically just Nature. like our just like our grafting tar. Yeah, uh, you can find it at any nursery or possibly even a hardware store in the gardening area. Maybe. Maybe yeah. yeah. Um, but hey, yeah, if you got the juices and stuff on your both you have your stem. You, and put it if you put it back like you're putting back you know broken bone needs to be set yeah 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 you can just right. support the the plant really well above it so that you know even if it's out in the wind or something like that is this might bother it so you know put some some fine netting or something around it to hold it definitely yeah if, if it and, completely snaps off yeah. and, and you're repairing it like you definitely want to have very good supports yeah to hold the top of that thing right. um <clears throat> support on three sides is good you know if you can do four that's cool you know but uh three sides generally work pretty well for you know surrounding your plant for supports and yeah yeah you can just put a little netting around the inside that'll hold the plant really easy if you want. yeah mj 420 yeah. what's happening my friend happy friday what about using fresh aloe vera gel if it snaps completely. No, actually yeah. aloe vera work will work also. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Aloe vera is is also it you it's can, a good healing you can use it for that. You can use it for cloning. That's right. Um, it does work very good for cloning. Yeah, uh, no, I know it's, quite it's, a few it's just a good healing that, agent. I know quite yeah. a quite a few people that use it for cloning and such. Yeah. <clears throat> I had one snap and just taped it <laughs> tape works pretty good but it's plastic you know i'm not too cool on plastic um you gotta let the you gotta let the <clears throat> branch breathe a bit yet i mean it's like the rest of the planet it does breathe so if you can that's why we use cardboard or or christmas ribbon you know that sort of thing even even the grafting tar you know let's let's the you know let's the air in and stuff you can tell after it dries and sets and everything what it you know how it does the plant will still absorb through the through the grafting tar. In fact, I'm gonna roll me and join us some cherry candy. <laughs> yes. Uh, I used athletic tape, which that would actually, be all right. cotton in it. Honestly, is actually really good because it's breathable. Mm -hmm. uh, the tape sticks to itself, so you can actually wrap it up and back down the branch. Hold it really yeah. good. It, yeah. it it it's flexible. It stretches. So, yeah. oh, I was thinking about the white stuff, <laughs> but no, the, the white stuff is, is cotton too, and it's it, you know about that wide, but it's got yeah, it breathes and got holes in it. That'll work. Papers. I think, I think it's yeah. more rolling papers. Yeah, some people just would rather you know. I was surprised at how many people would just cut the branch off. Oh crap! It's way on the ground. You know. Remember but when we first started? When I first started doing that, I mean. Some of the branches were so heavy. I mean, they were just, you know, pulling out of the sockets. So I mean, by the end of the, by harvest, I had like a plant with, you know, probably 15 ties, you know, holding this <laughs> limb up on this, you know, the stock or something like that, you know, through the whole plant, you know. So supporting your plant out, outside, you know, like we're doing now, that's the thing to be doing. <laughs> so the cherry candy is not in bud form. We. We broke it all apart because we we're looking for seeds. Yep. Looking for seeds. Didn't have any luck. Either. But we didn't have any luck. 
<laughs> not in this not in this batch that was our our first batch yeah yeah that was our first batch we'll keep you on though keep her <clears throat> Let it taste. Can only hope, right? <laughs> we blasted some of this stuff too, man. Oh, that I was so big when I got home. Makes really good dabs. Yeah. Let's <clears throat> show off that chair again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Cameo sent a picture. I think she's in front of her the doorway to her green in the greenhouse, and they called a an in law of ours to help her out. And he says, "Oh yeah, no trouble." So she got herself a kit and all that, and he went and set it up. And, and yeah, I hope that I hope she got some some of that mylar that we get from the, you know that. Oh, good grief. I can't remember the name of the company. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, I get some of that stuff like what we got because that it really is that is UV friendly polymer, 25 millimeters thick. You know, and it's a weed blend. But man, the sun when it hits it, it does spread the sun out and the moon at night. You know, when it's a full moon. Oh yeah, that whole top is just silver. <laughs> so. Nice. Yeah. All that light helps and oh, in spreads that, around in that video that youtube took down uh we were actually growing uh two plants of the silver the gnome candy silver and uh oh okay blaze the fuck up radio show that's what i was talking to you about uh there's kind of two different kinds of the gnome candy you have the regular gnome candy like you have now and then once in a while, you get lucky, and you never get a throwback of the original. You get a, get a throwback from the one we crossed it. Yeah, the, and, the, the cotton candy. The cotton candy. Yeah. And uh, we call that the gnome candy silver because it looks like it's just rolled in sugar. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it does. It really does. And it, it, it's, that part of the plant is more of a sativa than the, than the Jack Frost that we cut, uh, that we crossed it with. And that was basically an indica. So, milk candy is a hybrid. So, but yeah, yeah. The, the, the silvers were about this tall and really nice little Christmas tree looking things. And at night, boy, they just shine and shine a red light on them. Man, they're really cool for taking pictures. Cherry candy looks like it's going to be a frost monster. That, that cherry candy in the, in the greenhouse, yeah. In the garden is uh, looking, yeah, it is. Pretty yeah. pretty thick. That's one I'm gonna have to see about tomorrow too, after we get the supports put up. Cause you're right. I'm gonna have to go uh, through there and clean the top part of it again. Clean out some uh, some of those water leaves and such. Yeah, yeah. I started on one side of the plant, you know, just taking you know some of the leaves out of the you know the buds. Leave like four, maybe six of the water leaves on the top of the on the top of the bud, and then from there I'll take the you know just uh, first stage water leaves off down to the bottom where the bottom nugget is. <coughs> but that that big uh, no candy that that big beast thing we got down the far end of the garden. Yeah. Um, we got that and timed out just right. I think for the right you know where you got the this much of the end of the colas on each branch, uh -huh. and there's like seven to nine tufts down below on almost every branch. Uh -huh. So we got that and timed out real good. Those would be nice and hard. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, no candy silver. Yes. Yeah, I still got some of that too somewhere stuck away, and it, it really is. That that's a kind of a wiry high, you know. It's one of them stone, you could get stoned, you know, and then go to town and do chores. It just reminded me because I was yeah. I was reviewing our video and uh, we were we were talking about the no candy silver in our video, and we were actually going to pollinate one limb on each of yeah on each of those with the no candy. To, uh, to uh, see if we can't make some seeds. <laughs> Customers, Richard and Andy's. Mm -hmm. 
What a genetic fire in the hole. Good evening, double M Despo. <laughs> I keep up one of these big fat things will be a seed or I'll roll it and the seed will pop out or something. But <laughs> emoji mod Richard hey. Hernandez. <laughs> Double despo. What up, bud? Check it out. You wanna see I'll see the baby? I'll see the baby. <laughs> this is the the uh, muffin crossed with numb candy. She's grown up. Cameo's doing, uh, I think she's doing two of the Gorilla Glue crossed with numb candy, the ones that she did last year. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I can't wait. We got some seeds from her, too, though. Probably should try to some. Yes. Maybe in the spring or something. They're not auto, though, so we can't do it. We were going to do an auto. Auto, later. auto flower. Yeah, outdoors. Do it. See how it goes. Auto later in the season, kind of. Yeah. After oh. harvest or something. <clears throat> yeah. Hope, oh, hope, oh, hope. Oh. Anyway, did you see that video of Mike Tyson and, and Ric Flair getting stoned? Uh, I seen out it. Out in the I parking lot or some of this. I seen it. I didn't get to watch it yet. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. Um, Rick Flair's the eight, like fucking eighty years old, you know. <laughs> right. you, Woo! We used to watch him in WWF. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're down to doing only edibles now. <coughs> no ability to breathe, and I completely understand that. I get yeah. that. Well. Yeah, eating it though is a different eye. I'll tell you, it really is. Eating it's more of a body high. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Is. <laughs> yep. um, Out of the sea. Really? <laughs> Out of the Puppies. <laughs> puppies. <laughs> we got some new new puppies. Yeah. Uh, blue blue a cross between blue nose and red nose pit bulls. They're gonna be a handful. And my wife came up with they are the evil evil termite demons. <laughs> evil termite demons. They will eat everything. Yeah. Nicholas, first generation moms lose some terps on second generations a lot, so I play I play in back cross. Another dad for sure. I didn't have fun messing with F2 without extra dad cross. <laughs> See, that's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. That is definitely a lot of work. You know, we got so lucky with getting that plant from that guy and then finding the, the right, you know, the cross note with that. That friend of ours had the Jack Frost on and it was doing the Gorilla Grow out in the woods. Yeah. But I mean, it looked just like. Yeah, it looked just like that cotton candy that Clay brought home. Except the cotton candy was a bush and the Jack Frost out in the woods, that was a Christmas tree. Uh, but the buds were to look the same and everything. So, you know, that's our Tokes Outdoors. Uh, Crystal Killian uh, is actually uh, my uncle. This is my, my dad's brother. Yeah. Um, he is our Alaskan branch. Yeah. Up there in... Yeah, AKGC. Up there in Alaska. And he... Has been fighting leukemia yeah, for a long. very long time. They say they can't find that now. Uh, Apparently, it doesn't have leukemia anymore. It's something else. Something else. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just yeah. dumbfounded. I'm glad he's still kicking, though. Yep. He does, does have a hard time. I mean, he can make it across the room, but by the time he gets there, he's tuckered. Yeah. 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 It was amazing. I had a day and a half, a day of adventure once. Half a brownie. <laughs> there you go. Eat half a brownie, maybe a whole brownie. Go on an adventure. <laughs> got brownie mix at home, too. I did. Yeah. All right. Actually, you, you, I'm going to bake a cake for your birthday, Brother Dear. And uh, so we're going to have cake. <laughs> Uncle has lung cancer. After beating CML, 
Yeah. Uh, still above the dirt. Still fighting. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, when he, he, it made it feel like he'd been bitten by a gazillion fire ants. And when I could reach over and have to take a hold of his shirt or his elbow or something, keep him from falling out of, out of the chair, I did my job right. That's, yeah. Done, yeah. Done did the job right. Because, yeah, he said from there he's, he's free of that pain for an hour or two hours, maybe. Yeah. But, yeah, when I see him start to plant the old elbow on the table, yeah, yeah, he's rolling. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> so, a bunch of blessings to you, Uncle Clay, from everybody. Yeah. All the way up to Alaska. Brother Deer said he gave a whole lot of gnome candy away up there, so gnome candy's all over Alaska, he said. I think that's great. And we only got one line up there. So <laughs> well, our, he's, our he's got however many more up there, yeah. So <laughs> our our one line is actually <laughs> Oh that yeah. Our one line would actually be spread up to Alaska and then from here it, it would be spider webbed out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But that is where, yes, that's what's up. <laughs> that's what's up. Got one down here, all the way, Puerto Alegre, <laughs> and to our good friends. In Ireland, no kidding. In London, I think we got somebody in Scotland too. More power to everybody. In Paris, no the Netherlands, yes. Yeah, Nova Scotia, New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Australia, yeah, Australia, New Zealand, Zealand. Australia, New actually, Guinea. Actually, the the last that one guy we had a couple weeks in a row. Yeah. From Antarctica. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gazelle, I think, was her name. I think. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Just haven't, <laughs> haven't heard in a couple weeks. <laughs> Which I thought was awesome. I had a plate of father's brownies. That was an adventure. My wife still laughs about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keep entertainment. <laughs> Sounds great. You slept through years. You were so awesome. You couldn't move. <laughs> Got up with a smile, though. Yeah. And blot him. But nope. I left my <laughs> knife. <laughs> I think I'd do it again. <laughs> Should have seen him the first time he wanted to get stoned. It was funny. I'm always <laughs> telling you, Uncle Alaska. <laughs> so, so you guys <laughs> Yeah, after we spent all weekend out there getting stone and stuff like that, coming out of out of the valley and stuff, he goes, "You know, Dad, it ain't like what they say at all." Hey, <laughs> uh, let's go up again <laughs> next weekend. They ain't, ain't like it. Yeah, yeah, it was funny. Oh, well. ain't realization grand. Right. <laughs> oh, let's see. Beat up at. You know, I wanted to find an ET head about this big, you know, like off of one of the dolls or something, and stick it on the antenna right there in front of the the Mary Jane's pick fence. It would have looked, made it look like a giant tortoise, but you'd get up close to ET. <laughs> Hell, I was even getting going to make paper, you know, paper feet to put out, you know, <laughs> down to the ground. <laughs> Dress up a little. <laughs> uh, Let's see. Anyway, guys, we got some more outdoor videos coming up for you. Yeah, I got, uh, I got a couple of just short ones uh, where I had, like I said, a, a branch that I had leaned on when I was up on the ladder, uh, this plant, and it just pulled the branch down out of the socket. So I <laughs> I got a shoestring and tied it so it held my telephone or my phone there so I could record <laughs> hanging it back up and, yeah, so it, it's, yeah, I'm hanging off an eight foot ladder up there doing this, you know. And, but yeah, I got it recorded. Okay, so we'll see if we can get that <laughs> one transferred over so you guys can check that out. Yeah. Um, we're going to keep an eye on this one over in the corner and see how she she does it within yeah. the next few days. 
And yeah. I'll bet you'll be here next week. Yeah, it'll be. It'll be. <laughs> and uh, we got these little babies that uh, they got a little while yet before they're going to be transplanted. So yeah, no need, no real rush on those. But uh, cameo uh, bought one of our uh, joint flag T-shirts off of our website. Oh, yeah, cool. Uh, she got it, and everything looks great on her. Um, yeah, I was pretty, that. pretty stoked. That's why she's showing off too. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you, Cameo, and we hope you enjoy your your new shirt. Uh, you you can come help me trim anytime, <laughs> anytime. <laughs> It'll go on from now until October or November. <laughs> Whatever, late yeah. October, November. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> hope they're done before then. Hey, Glenn, how, how's how's trim prison? Should be done by now. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was thinking he was gonna get one of the barrel trimmers. <laughs> too little, too little cheap. A little cheap. Nah, he, he was thinking about the exercise, you know, on the bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at work. There we go. Twenty reps. You yeah. guys want to get your shirts? <laughs> scroll down to the description below. Check out our link for our online store. We got a bunch of bunch of cool merch on there that you can check out. I like Brothers Deers. They. Uh, <laughs> standards to aim for that's a good one it really is that is pretty cool anyway guys we're out of here for the weekend be safe be cool and have a good weekend